and welcome to another edition of Monday Night Raw. But Kendrick is back. He missed last week. And he's going up against a guy who has yet to make his debut. A guy by the name, as you can see, of Dolph Ziggler. Dolph, I, I know some of the things he can do. He's good. He's still got a lot to learn. But he, the one thing for sure is he's got a big ego that at times he needs to learn to keep in check. As I'm sure we will all find out as we see him compete here in Universe. But he's finally ready to make his debut. But that quick, that quick thinking won't really matter if he can't get more going. But Ziggler, like I said, has been extremely impressive here. He's got a one. He's got a two. And he's got a three. And just like that, Dolph Ziggler, he gets the win. Not quite how he wanted, I'm sure. Ziggler looked very good in that match. And a big win for the newcomer to the Raw roster. Very big win. But up next, we've got a series of matches. All three relate back to both the tag team and main event scene. Coming up next, we've got Matt Hardy versus Randy Orton. Then we have Jeff Hardy versus Shawn Michaels. And in the main event, we have Triple H versus the Rated R Superstar Edge. And all three of these matches, all six competitors, are top contenders for the world title right now. And we need to figure out who's going to be competing for the WWE Championship and who's going to be the first WWE Champion heading into the Royal Rumble. So up next, get ready for Matt Hardy versus Randy Orton. And here we go. It's time for Matt Hardy versus Randy Orton. The Hardy boys have looked really good. Jeff is two, currently 2-0, two Matt 1-0, as the last time he competed was on the first episode of Raw here in Universe, where the Hardy boys looked very good against D-Generation X. Shawn Michaels competed against Edge last week and was able to pick up a win after Edge won that big battle royal on the first episode of Raw. Whereas Randy Orton, he lost the battle royal and he lost against Jeff Hardy last week. And Triple H also, just like Matt, has not competed since the, ma the tag match and the main event of the first episode of Raw. Again, the series of matches here. All six men want to be WWE Champion, of course. It's the biggest prize on this show. And if all six men can prove that they all have, that they're all worthy of a shot, we may have to give all six of these men a shot, either right before the Rumble or at the Rumble. I don't know how the GM's going to do it. But one thing I know for sure, this is going to be a big moment for all six men. But Randy Orton, he is doing the worst of them right now. He is 0-2. And he really needs a big bounce back win here. And again, like I said last week, if there's anyone who can bounce back from losses and look dominant and get a great victory, it is Randy Orton. But I have to add, if you keep going downhill and you keep losing, one thing is for sure, it doesn't matter how good you are, that, ba that terrible momentum you pick up from all the losses can result in you just losing and losing and losing until you finally snap and something changes. But nonetheless, we've got Matt Hardy and Randy Orton and Matt immediately responds with a clothesline knocking the Viper down. And he's got Randy in the corner. All the managers for the upcoming three matches, including this one of course, have been banned from ringside. There will be no teammates and partners at ringside. Just straight up one-on-one -on -one matches. As Randy getting something going, dropping Matt on, on his knee for the backbreaker. 
which honestly is a little uncharacteristic of Randy. He normally likes to hit his inverted backbreaker. But Randy, turn it around. Perhaps go for a DDT or something. Whatever he wanted, I don't know. But Matt dropped him with another clothesline. And the Hardy Boys have looked so good since, you know, this universe started. They've looked so damn good. I mean, they had their way with D-Generation X. And Jeff, he may not have looked like 100% great against Randy Orton last week, but he still got a good win over Randy. And any win over Randy is a big deal. And honestly, you could say a win over any of the six guys in our main event scene right now, you could say a win over any of them is a big deal. And Randy with a beautiful dropkick knocking Matt against the ropes. No, Randy Orton, abdominal stretch, slowing it down a little bit. And Matt Hardy responds with a hip toss out of it. But Randy goes behind. But Matt turns it around and drops the Viper with a DDT. Now back on his feet. Back on both their feet, I guess. <laughs> And Randy with a belly-to-belly -belly slam. As Matt again with a clothesline. Now Matt on the apron. Oh, and here we go. With the Hangman DDT. That spike DDT from Randy Orton. But Matt Hardy immediately getting back up. But Randy moves out the way of the clothesline. And Randy just getting frustrated now. But Matt is back inside the ring. He's got Randy in the corner. And a drop kick in the corner. They're just spinning him around on the turnbuckle. Back elbow. And Randy responding back. Misses the elbow attempt. And Matt just slapping him in the back of the head. All that's going to do is anger the... Anger the Viper. And Randy Orton is one person you do not want to anger. As Matt again got him in the corner. In another back elbow. Matt looking good in this match. But Randy getting a little bit cocky there. But showing why he can be cocky. As he took Matt down with a clothesline of his own. Now Randy going for the arm. And a big neck breaker from Matt. And Matt goes behind now. Randy turns it around. And a DDT of his own. Just spiking the head of Matt Hardy into the canvas. No ground and pound from Matt Hardy. Got a headbutt. And another. Oh. He wanted three straight headbutts. Matt blocked the third. But another belly to belly from Randy. Randy looking very good going for a pin. He's got a one, but only a one. And another great drop kick from Randy. But Matt fires back. Elbow to the spine. Planting his elbow right in the middle of the back. And Randy's going to respond with one of his own. Saying, what you can do, I can do better. But again, Matt goes behind. And now we're getting back and forth here. Matt. Matt was holding his stomach there. But another big belly to belly. And Randy going for the arm. With the arm breaker. Now dragging him to the middle of the ring. And look at this. Randy Orton special stomping at every limb of Matt Hardy. Oh, but Triple H. Triple H coming out to the ring. But here comes Shawn Michaels. 
Randy focused too much on DX on the outside of the ring. But seriously, what is going on? I've never seen this before. Like, I... I feel like I'm literally in a, ne a f like a, f a fucking never-ending loop right now. Like, what the actual fuck? What the actual fuck is going on? Is it never-ending because someone is supposed to attack and they and they just won't because DQ's on? Hang on a minute. Let's look this up. See if anyone else has had this issue before. Live on air. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm literally finding nothing online about it either. There's no way in hell this I'm the first person to ever have experienced this when this game's been out over 10 years. There's no way. Yes. Yes. Fucking do something, Randy. Here we go. Inverted. Backbreaker. Hit him with a fucking pun. Hit him with a fucking pun again. I don't care. RKO. Doesn't matter. Just fucking pin him. Fucking pin him. Yes. Drag, fucking pin, 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 pin. Ref, ref, focus on the match. No, Triple H, go the fuck away. 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 Go the fuck. You motherfucker. Why is this not ending? Why is this not fucking ending? Why is Matt Hardy constantly going to the outside of the ring? Why are DX out here not doing fucking anything but sides? Oh my god, why? Why is this never ending? How is there nothing online about this issue? Like, there's no way in hell I'm the first person in the history of the world when this game's been out over 10 years that has had this issue. Good, maybe. Will that get him to go away? Maybe. Yes! Shawn Michaels is leaving! Shawn Michaels is leaving! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! No, f fuck, how do we get Triple H out of here? Triple H is the main one distracting the referee, not doing anything else. How do we get him out of here? Randy, Randy, attack him, attack him. Randy, attack Triple H, attack Triple H, please, attack Triple H! You know you want to. Why does he have a dragon whip? No, no, Hunter, leave him alone. Leave Randall Keith alone, damn it. Just, Randy, attack Triple H. He won't go away. He'll go away if you attack him. He'll go away if you attack him. He'll go away if you attack him. Wait, Matt's not going outside the ring anymore. Matt's not going outside the ring anymore. He was only going outside the ring because of Shawn Michaels? Was Shawn supposed to attack but wouldn't? I think Shawn Michaels was supposed to attack and he wouldn't. Oh my god, look at Matt Hardy's face. There is blood everywhere. Matt Hardy trying to fight back, but again, like he is in no state to fight. He's absolutely not. And again, Triple H... Triple H, go away, you dumb motherfucker. Big brag breaker by Randy. Triple H, go away, you dumb motherfucker. Nobody wants you here. Go away. You're still causing problems, but at least, at least Matt Hardy's not hiding on the outside of the ring again. Matt is trying to get back in it, though. I mean, talk about, talk about, like, a comeback if Matt wins. It's not likely, but it's not impossible. But what kind of a state will he, he even be in to compete, you know? I mean, he, he's a, he's felt multiple RKOs, like, backbreakers and, Stomping all the exposed limbs and like the punt kick. <laughs> He's busted wide open. Had his head smashing at the steel steps in the barricade. Like Matt Hardy is not in a good way. Again, just look at his face right now. 
But he's trying. He's trying to get back in the match. It's just grabbing Randy by the head and slamming it back down. Like I said, he's trying. He's getting some good shots in now. Let's look at this, a camel clutch. But there's no way. Yeah, see, like, Randy quickly gets up and powers out. But Matt somehow... Getting some shots in. Holy Christ. Is Matt Hardy going to pick up a win here? And there's another pin. And again, Triple H on the apron. I swear, he's distracted the referee so many times. He should not still be here. He should not still be at ringside. As Matt again with another neck breaker. But Randy still has so much fight. And the longer Triple H is out here, the longer that both men are just enduring punishment. But maybe that was the plan of DX all along, not to support either guy, but just to make him fight so long to keep the match going forever. I said, to keep the match going for so long that both men completely wear themselves out and hurt each other so they can't compete in the, for the for the WWE title, which makes less people to, to deal with. Because no matter who wins at this point, I feel like neither one of them will be able to compete afterward. But Matt Hardy, he has got some shots in. And Matt Hardy now going for the pin. He's got a one. He's... Not even a two in Triple H. He's definitely out here to mess with Randy Orton. That's for sure. Because he didn't even try to distract the referee when Matt went for a pin. But you guys just lost to Matt and his brother. But again, Matt, another pin. Got a one. Got a two. Got a three. And Matt Hardy... He got a win over Randy Orton. Randy Orton's now 0-3. But he is not in a good state right now. I don't know how much he'll be able to compete coming up, but... He got it. He, he, he is the winner. He is indeed the winner of this match. And the next match is Jeff Hardy versus Shawn Michaels. And now, of course, it is time. Jeff Hardy versus Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels and Triple H just came out and made a statement by constantly interfering and getting involved in Matt Hardy versus Randy Orton. Despite losing to the Hardy Boys, back two weeks ago that seems to not bother them despite the fact that everyone involved like I said all six men from the previous match this match and the main event are all in contention for the WWE Championship but nonetheless Matt Hardy has got a win Randy Orton is 0-3 both men punished each other Randy Orton definitely punished Matt Hardy. I mean, Matt was in a bad way. Blood all over the place, all over his face and Randy Orton's chest. You know, punt kick, RKO, like everything. Moves on the outside, slammed to the steel steps in the barricade. and Matt Hardy was not in a good way, again, to state it. But nonetheless... We're ready for this next match. Shawn Michaels going one-on-one -on -one with Jeff Hardy. And again, like I said, Randy Orton has now been pushed to 0-3 in the win-loss records, in the rankings. But Shawn Michaels currently sitting at a 1-1. One -one. Jeff Hardy at a 2-0. Jeff Hardy doing very good right now. Both men coming off of a win. But I just, 
I can't get over that last match. Why were DX out there? That doesn't... Un like, I don't understand. But nonetheless, here we go. And Jeff Hardy immediately runs up to Shawn Michaels. You know he... D he's not... You know, he's not going to be a fan of Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Because, yes, they helped his brother get a win. But it was because of them as well that his brother kept getting brutalized by Randy Orton. And at the end of the day, Randy, you know, he just wanted to be able to put, you know, to put away Matt Hardy and get a win. And then increase his odds of getting the WWE Championship. But again, DX came out there. And like I said, Matt Hardy did win. He won in technicality. But again, he was brutalized. He was a bloody mess. And after eating so much devastating offense from Randy Orton, who can even say... Who can even truly say... if Matt Hardy will be okay in the near future. But nonetheless, Sean and Jeff Hardy just going, you know, move for move right now. Like I said before, both coming off of wins. And... If I had to make a guess, I would say, like, I would have to predict Jeff Hardy to win here. I mean, he's just looked better overall. But you can't count out the heartbreak kid. Not at all. As he takes Jeff Hardy down with a clothesline. And honestly, Sean so far is looking a little bit better. But again, you can't discount Jeff Hardy. Can't, can't count, you can't count him out is what I'm trying to say as I'm getting tongue-tied. As he just slams down the heartbreak kid. As HBK... Michaels rolled out of the way. Jeff bump goes behind. And again, Michaels has got him. And DDT spiking the head into the canvas. Now Jeff has got him. And Michaels with another clothesline taking him out. You know, normally I would say I'd be okay with either of these guys winning, but after what DX just did, I mean, it's hard to root for them. That's absolutely for sure, but a scoop slam there, the body slam, into the drop kick. And a big standing moonsault from Jeff, too. Again, just both going back and forth here. As Jeff just fighting Michaels off, punching him in the midsection. But HBK, Irish Whip, misses the knife edge chop. Not too often you hear about that. But got Jeff on the ropes again and going to drive the knee into the chest. Maybe even caught a bit of the throat there. Wouldn't be too surprised. As another clothesline takes him down. Now HBK in the corner. Jeff spinning him around. He kicks him down as he gets out of the corner. To pick him back up. Just blocking each other's strikes. And Michael takes him down again. Just ringing out the arm. As neither man with a clear advantage here. As Jeff takes him down with a clothesline again. But Michaels again rolls out of the way. In a hip toss. And that is the way I can really just state it right now. Neither man is getting a clear advantage. But a surfboard stretch from Jeff Hardy. Slowing it down a little bit. 
as Michaels throws him over. And there's the elbow. And a play a bit dirty. But Jeff with the Bulldog, that's how he beat Randy Orton last week, was with that Bulldog. As both men just trying to do anything to get even more of an advantage over the other. But it's not really working. But Michaels with a backbreaker there. Now Michaels... Mounted on top, and Jeff immediately fighting off, fighting him off, and takes him down. Oh, Michaels kips up. Shawn Michaels kipped up. Fire in his eyes. Fire in his eyes. He's got him gut buster. But Jeff immediately taking Michaels off his feet. Does not want to give Michaels an opportunity. You know, with that fire in his eyes, a sweet sheet music could be in his future. And he's got to shut it down. As Michaels trying to fight back. And Jeff spikes him with a DDT. Call it payback for earlier. On a drop kick, knocks him down. And another bulldog. Now Jeff's the one mounted on top. Raining down the lefts and rights, but never mind. Michaels fights him off early, too. Again, blocking each other's punches before Jeff got the advantage and takes him down again. Now look at this, a rolling neck snap. Rolling neck snap. Now kicks away the back of the leg. And again, Michael shuts him down, got him. DDT again, planting him with that DDT. But Jeff back on his feet. Michaels with an elbow to the back of the neck, and another. But Jeff goes behind again. And another Bulldog. And perhaps looking to go for a pin on the Bulldog. Again, that's how he beat Randy Orton last week. He's got a one, he's got a two, and Michaels kicks out. And Jeff Hardy is frustrated. As Michaels goes behind. And a snap mare. Now Michaels perhaps going for a pin. Yes he does. Hooks the leg. Got a one. Only a one. But Michaels immediately going to take him down again. As striking at the legs. Now got him in the corner. And Jeff throws him out. Michael shoves him away. Jeff takes him down again. But now Michael's shoving him away. Now got him in the corner. Perhaps looking for the 10 count punches. He's got three. Got four. No! Michael's blocked him! Michaels blocked it, shoves him down into another pin, got a one, only a one. Jeff was holding that head. Oh, he shoved off Michaels' attempt at a, the flying forearm to hit another rolling neck snap. Another rolling neck snap. Both men feeling a bit hurt. Jeff Hardy. Now, in another corner, deciding to chop the ever-living hell out of Shawn Michaels. Just vicious knife-edge chop from Jeff Hardy. Decides to stop as he falls down. He shuts Michaels down again. But there's the flying forearm. He caught him flying forearm. Hooks the leg. He's got a one. He's got a two. He's, no, so close. And now Michael's the one. It's his turn to be frustrated. And talk about a flying forearm. Jeff Hardy just threw his entire body into it. No kip up from him, though. 
And again, neither man with a clear advantage. But Michaels raining down the right hands here. Now dragging Jeff to the middle of the ring. He's got something in mind. Oh, yes he does. Inverted figure four. Inverted figure four. Now here comes ECW's JBL. There's so much interference happening right now. But look at this. Tuning up the band. Tuning up the band. Sweet chin music. JBL out here perhaps to try and be an equalizer. Referee's got a one. And yes, he is. JBL came up short on the ECW in the first hardcore title match. Jeff Hardy getting back into the match now. Maybe JBL, he saw what DX did to Randy Orton. Maybe just trying to even the odds, trying to get some revenge. I wouldn't normally count JBL on you know doing a good thing, and I don't even know if it's a, if it is a good thing. But he's out here, you know, giving Shawn Michaels and well not Triple H, but giving Shawn Michaels a taste of his own medicine here as Jeff Hardy. He's saying enough is enough. I want to punish you like you caused my brother to get punished. But Shawn Michaels. Hops off the top rope immediately. But Jeff with the clear advantage now. But Sean takes him down. And I'm playing dirty again. These two men resorting to dirty tricks. But the flying forearm again as Jeff shoves him away. Just to be taken back down with a shorter tackle. A flying forearm from Jeff. Flying forearm from Jeff Hardy. He goes behind and just picks him up and slams him down again. Now after slamming him down, drags him to the middle of the ring. Gonna hook the leg again. He's got a one. He's got a two. He's got a three. And Jeff Hardy is three and zero, oh, and he gets a win. Just like that. And again, J JBL was clearly not out here to help Jeff Hardy. And I don't know exactly why he ha felt the need to come out here to confront HBK. Maybe all these interferences recently are just people excited and trying to hype up the Royal Rumble sh and show brand supremacy. I don't know, but nonetheless, Jeff Hardy got a win over the Heartbreak Kid, and it's time for our main event, which of course is Triple H versus Edge. And now it's time for the main event. The main event. Of course, as already stated, it's the Rated R Superstar Edge going against the game Triple H. But then, of course, Randy Orton versus Matt Hardy happened after that. Randy was looking good. And then DX came out. It was just being nuisances in that match. But at the end of the day, despite being brutalized continuously by Randy Orton, Matt was able to eventually pick up a win. And, of course, just in the last match, we had Jeff Hardy end up getting a win over the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels as ECW's JBL ran down to ringside and again I don't know he clearly was not helping J Jeff Hardy but I don't know if he was doing it because of what DX did to Randy Orton in the last match or if maybe he just has his own vendetta maybe he just wants to show brand supremacy and show that ECW is where it's at I don't know but again, we do have the Royal Rumble where every brand is taking part in the match. They'll all have their own matches at the show, and they'll all ha each have 10 superstars in the Royal Rumble. And the superstars who will be competing in the Royal Rumble in the Royal Rumble is completely down 
to the general managers of each show. But now, the game Triple H. His first one-on-one -on -one match here on Raw in Universe. His only previous match was against the Hardy Boys in the first episode of Monday Night Raw. And the Hardys had their way with DX. But does that reflect on anything that they've done that they can do in singles action? Actually, no, no, it doesn't. As we saw, Shawn Michaels the very next week got a win one-on-one -on -one by pinning Triple H's opponent tonight, Edge. As these two men just go back and forth here. As Edge has got Triple H down and looked like he was trying to keep him on the ground. Now Triple H, of course, back on his feet with a shoulder block there. As Edge goes behind and a back rake playing dirty. And as someone who is friends with Randy Orton, you know damn well that he is going to do... He's going to be looking for at least a little bit of revenge, if I had to say so myself. Because honestly, what DX did earlier in the night was absolutely uncalled for. They may not have technically laid their hands... They may, have, they may not have actually laid their hands on Randy Orton or Matt Hardy. But they had no business being out there. But now, Triple H puts Edge in the corner. As Edge pops out. And now, belly to belly. And Triple H's going for a quick pin, but not even a one. And he gets hip toss for his troubles. Now Edge with an atomic drop. Oh, I'm going for another... But Triple H reverses the Irish whip, ducks underneath, and gets kicked in the mouth. But he responds back. Oh, Edge has got him behind and just hits him in the back of the head. But Triple H with the upper hand now. Oh, look at Triple H. Cross face. He's got the cross face locked in. Edge not going to tap out. Rolls him over to... Break the hold. And there's the reversal. Another Triple H. Just tossing Edge away. Keeping the upper hand here. Now off the ropes again. Misses the knife edge chop. But another shoulder block. And a drop to a hold from Edge to take the advantage back. But Triple H is going to take it right back immediately. Because again, like every other match tonight, it's been very back and forth. Edge just got decked with a right hand, but again, another drop to a hold from Edge. The elbow keeps him on the ground. But now, of course, both men on their feet. Triple H goes behind. And he's got the rated R superstar in the corner and just tells him to suck it. But Edge moved up the way of the clothesline. And Triple H fights his way back with a punch to the face back inside the ring. And another shoulder block. He hit him with a shoulder block again. As again, Edge got him in the corner. But Triple H goes behind again. Edge has got him. 
He's holding him up there. And Triple H gets down and a big swinging neck breaker. As now the full mount, but Edge immediately knocks him off. As he goes behind, he's going to get him in the opposite corner now. Oh, but he blocks. And Triple H knocks him down. These two men, like, saving, like, they are not saving anything. They're just, they're not pulling punches at all. As another knife edge chop. But Triple H goes behind again. Got him off the ropes. And a big neck breaker. Big neck breaker. Now off the ropes again. But Edge fighting back now. Triple H keeps looking for something, but then just isn't able to hit it. As Edge blocking him. Trying to pepper in those strikes. But a big shot to the back there. And now Edge got him. Body slams him right on the arm. Now full mount. And just like Edge did, Triple H immediately fights him off. And a big right hand. Got him off the ropes. And a big double A spine buster. And out comes the ECW champion. The ECW champion, Cody Rhodes. The second ECW guy we've seen like show up here tonight. But Triple H's got a one. And Cody Rhodes up on the apron distracting the referee. As Edge. Oh, and wait. Here comes Randy Orton. Here comes Randy Orton perhaps trying to pay the perhaps trying to pay him back. Oh, not again. Not again. No. No. And the thing is, like, the sad thing is, guys, like, I... I was gonna be like, you know what? Like, I was gonna turn interference off for this last match. And it's like, yeah, fuck it. I mean, like, it's been on the entire show already. But I didn't think we were gonna get another situation like this. And now I also have to figure out a fucking way to make all of the goddamn interferences make sense too. Because Randy being out here actually does make sense based on the first one. DX being out there at least does make sense in a way. But like, fuck. Like, Cody, like, the legacy has never been a thing in this universe. Technically, in canon, Cody would have went straight from... Technically, with the universe, Cody would have... It would have been around the time that he would have been... Champion with Hardcore Holly, and then... Our initial draft would have split them on different shows, and then... Cody would have then become the ECW champion. And the first one, the first thing probably lasted damn near 30 minutes. The last time this happened. Because, like, the, the match didn't actually end until, like, 46 minutes into the recording, something like that. And Ziggler versus Kendrick was not that long. But it's quickly becoming my favorite match on the card. Which is crazy. On a card where we had Matt Hardy versus Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy versus Shawn Michaels, Triple H versus Edge. My favorite is Dolph Ziggler versus Brian Kendrick. It was a nice little match, though. Kendrick could have looked a little bit better in it, admittedly, but it was a it was a fine little match. Ziggler looked really good, got a good win. I wish the AI wouldn't, I wish the AI and Possum Pin wouldn't be stupid broken, but, uh, and that Ziggler could have won off the zigzag, but, you know, whatever. I'm just, like, not in any fucking mood right now. Because it's probably going to last, like, another 30 minutes. 
or it's probably gonna like make the match last thirty minutes. Triple H is eventually gonna the AI is Triple H is eventually gonna attack Randy Orton, cause him to run away, and then Cody's gonna keep interfering, distracting the referee, and he's not gonna be kicked, and eventually Edge is gonna get a win. It's probably gonna be the exact same fucking thing as when Matt just beat Randy Orton, hit the hit the fucking face buster. Throw Edge in the ring and hit the face buster on Randy. Then go right into the pedigree. Do it. Do it. Fucking do it. I'm so sick. I am so sick of this goddamn match. I'm sick of this goddamn show. This is the one show right now that is making me like... I've enjoyed every other show that I've done. So far for this new universe, but this show is just like, fuck it, let it end. <laughs> let it end. I forgot how stupid this game was with interference. Because I'm pretty sure when I was a little kid playing this, I turned interference off in the main setting, so it wasn't re always on. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Because I do not remember this ever being this much of a problem. But I didn't really play just random matches like that too often, though. In all, in all fairness, I, I really didn't. I mainly played, like, the career mode and then, um, well, career, aka just play a bunch of matches, but yeah. And then Rudder WrestleMania was the main thing I did at the time. Playing those a lot. Triple H, you have a finisher. Just pedigree Randy. He will run away. I promise. He'll run away. He'll do the same thing Shawn Michaels did. When you two interfered. Like, this is so, so dumb. I just want to move on to ECW, man. I just want to move on to ECW. <laughs> Let me do episode three, man. Let me do episode three of ECW. <laughs> I just want the show to be fucking over. Like I, I, I am, I'm over it. I'm over it. Interference can just fuck right off. Interference can fuck right off. Because if I never have to deal with this bullshit again, I... It'll be too soon. I didn't know that backbreaker was still in the game. But he'll go for a pin. Oh, wait. No, Randy's distracting. I can say, oh, wait. The AI for Cody's broken, but no. Never mind. Never mind. Just because the AI breaks for one doesn't mean that... The AI's broken for both. <laughs> Ugh. This is dumb. Because, like, it's essentially... The game is essentially soft locked right now until the AI, when and if, big if, attacks Randy Orton. Or Cody, either one, but... It would probably be Randy, because Randy's the one walking around a lot. Yes! Yes! Finally! 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 Randy, run away. No! It wasn't enough to make him run away. No. No. Why? Why? I guess technically if I was playing the match, I know, I could just attack them and get them to run away. I know. But I don't want to play every match. That's the thing. But this is so, so stupid. Was this never found? 
Was this never found in all the QA testing for the game? Because in about an hour and 15 minutes, probably about an hour, right around an hour and 15 minutes, this has happened twice. I guess just be glad that no one else ran out with JBL in the last one. I guess this is why if you're going to try and do a universe, like, prequel or anything, in this game specifically, get rid of the goddamn allies and rivals. Reset those just like you would reset everything else, because, oh my god. This... Fucking sucks. Why is the AI so stupid? I take back what I said. Any compliments that went towards the AI have been redacted. They do not deserve at all. They do not res deserve compliments right now. Not after this show. Or for he's not focused on you. Just coming and hit a goddamn crossroads. Anything. Wait, how did... How? How did the match end? Well, fuck it. I'll take it. At this point, I will fucking take it. Triple H wins by way of DQ. Whatever. I don't know how. But fuck this episode. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.